to my YouTube channel. A reminder, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so and please click the like button as it really supports my channel. I was asked in my last vlog if I could do a bit more about what I'm eating at the moment. I have to be completely honest. I developed a bit of a fear of going out and eating stuff that I'm not aware of. So I, I'm cooking a lot more now. Like, I don't think that's a bad thing. I never used to cook before. So I'll show you a bit more of the foods that I eat and it's mostly anti-inflammatory foods. Let's go to my kitchen. Already prepped in here just some beetroot, which is great for detoxification, cherry tomatoes, because I love them, and cucumber, which helps with stomach acidity. Just cooking up some zucchini or courgette, whatever the hell you want to call it. Everything now is coconut oil. And then in my oven, I'm just um, roasting sweet potato and pumpkin, which I've never done before. I'm just going to prep the spinach and I'm going to just cut it up. I used to like not cut up spinach before, but then I found actually the leaves were too big. And I was reading up on how if you don't cut up your greens and also let them soak in a bit of olive oil and it's better for your digestion what i'm going to do is i'm going to drizzle olive oil in there like a teaspoon of olive oil and massage it into the greens and voila this is my lunch so it has pumpkin sweet potato zucchini half a can of tuna cashews pumpkin seeds and then all the veg that i mentioned before a um dressing i've used cinnamon and turmeric again also half a squeeze of lemon as i love lemon on everything sprinkle a bit of himalayan salt Over. Left home early just to come to work because sitting at home for those last five minutes of not knowing what to do with your life until you leave. Like I don't want to do anything because then I'm going to start looking into things and like if I start researching then I can't stop researching then I'm going to be late for class and I will never be late for a class. I am one of those people that I think I'm a little bit traumatized by lateness. I hate being late. It's like one of my pet peeves. I cannot be late for anything. I'd rather be half an hour early, sit there and wait for the person that I'm meeting or to go to class. There was one time a few weeks ago that I was literally not late for the class. I was early for the class, but you're supposed to be like, I always want to get to a class at least 15 minutes before it starts, just so that I'm there and that I'm prepared for the class. I'm driving around, trying to find parking, trying to get to the class, and I was there five minutes before the class started, and I swear I was that close to crying. If I'm late, I start crying and start having a panic attack. I hate to say this, but I think it's from working in an agency years ago that, you know, our policy was that you had to be there half an hour before. He was there at the time, like, I would get clients calling me, like, screaming at me, like, where is that so-and-so? Where are they? Where are they? And it would, like, I, I think I'm traumatized by it. It's this day and age, and it's ridiculous, and I start getting, like, anxiety attacks from it. I'm trying to learn ways to deal with stress, like, my thing about when it comes to stress life at the moment is quite stressful i'm taking care of my mom i'm trying to get back into work trying to you know do other things and get into studios and stuff like that i know some people like it breaks out their face i mean my face is broken out anyway because of my bloody period lol pun not intended whenever i'm stressed and this used to happen when i was at school and stuff that it would go to my stomach and like I would get acidity in my stomach and my stomach would hurt. Like my stomach hurts all the time right now and I never know whether it's because of stress, so my period or my gut health issues. I don't know, but at the moment it's quite a stressful time in the past like week and a bit. It's been really stressful. Oh, oh my God, the past few months have just been awful. I forgot my hot water bottle at home whilst I'm sitting in the car. I wish I was just like sitting with my hot water bottle. I've taken a painkiller because the last time I was teaching Kia, which was yesterday, I got really dizzy because of the pain. If I overstretch on my right side, I get dizzy. Period bloat is ridiculously real. Do you have it 
toilet. <laughs> Some on shoe. I did bring my protein smoothie with me, but it's turned a bit brown. It was purple before I left home. Okay, so hello. Back from my shoot with lovely brand, Prickly Pear, and all the amazing team. It sounds really bad and like vain, but I love when I get my hair curled. I never get my hair done like, I get it, you know, dyed and stuff and I just have highlights. I like get it done for a photo shoot and curls and just see how somebody else does it. I absolutely love it. And I feel like a lion. And the makeup is amazing, it's all Charlotte Tilbury. I don't have a makeup routine because if I'm completely honest, don't really wear makeup. I literally put on mascara and I do my eyebrows. And if anything, maybe I'll put on a bit of blush. I'm so bad when it comes to makeup and whenever I go home and I'm with my brother, he's like the most insane makeup artist and really makes me put on my makeup. Especially, maybe I will link it because it's really funny of a video of my brother and I doing our makeup together. And I mean, he throws my products across the room because they're that bad apparently. And then the bisque tinted moisturizer from Lua Mercier. I like to combine them. Okay, so this is where the lesson first comes in. Is get rid. No! I want to just give you an update on how I'm feeling with everything. And I must say that the past three days I've had good days. Days are fine, it's the nights that I'm struggling a lot when it comes to pain. It still feels that like I've got knives scraping across my uterus. Constantly with my hot water bottle, taking quite a fair bit of pain medication, if I'm honest, because I think this is gonna be a long process, even longer, but you know, I'm preparing myself that it's gonna be long. Um, Instagram, who I'm so thankful for. I love getting opinions from other girls that are in Dubai as well. What doctors they've seen, what experiences they've had, what they think is like, you know, doctors taking the piss. But for now, I need to just go on pain management course, which is literally just ibuprofen. I did get a muscle relaxer, but I don't want to take it because if I'm not at home and I, you know, I'm driving around a lot, I'm working a lot more, I could go. Still incredibly painful for me to go to the bathroom. Hey, a girl's gotta go, a girl's gotta do a business, and I'm fucking scared to do it because it hurts so much. Has anybody got the same symptoms? Does it hurt for you to go to the bathroom? My period color started out red which I was really happy about and that means that the steaming has been working for me because normally I start with like brown blood and then it will like go to, you know, red, back to black, brown, maybe back to red and it's all a bit of a mixture so I need to like stabilize this stuff. And it's gone black and it's kept black for a really long time plus then it came back to red blood and then what I realized is that I'm bleeding also from my bum as well as like, you know, foofy. Yeah, so that's a bit concerning, but I think that's my endo in my bum. Good afternoon, Instagram. If I could show more about what I'm eating to help my gut and stuff at the moment. So I thought I'd show you my lunch. Living in Dubai is a very big thing. I'm guessing anywhere in like a city. It's a big thing to order food all the time. The queen of ordering lunches and stuff to work, even going out for coffees every day, like spending unnecessary money. And also whenever I ate out, it would just not be worth it for me. I'd be in so much pain. You know, I'd have to always run to the bathroom. I'm cooking at home all the time at the moment. I refuse to go out. I'm gonna show you just a lunch that I've been having quite a fair bit. So this is my lunch. And I'm just gonna show you what other bits I put into it some spinach underneath, avocado, also I've got beetroot, a little can of tuna, sweet potatoes, and then I made some hummus last night which is literally chickpeas, olive oil, and some sesame seeds. Fats from my avocado, it's got good protein from my tuna and chickpeas, and then also carbohydrates. And a pinch of Himalayan salt. For the sweet potato, I cooked it already in coconut oil. A teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil, just on the spinach already, just so it kind of gets in there a bit better. A little bit of hemp seeds on there. I'm just gonna sprinkle them around. Flax seed meal as well. Obviously I put that on 
absolutely everything. Sprinkle it around again. Nutritional yeast, because why not? I want a bit of a cheesy taste. A little bit, just half a teaspoon. A little couple of dashes of turmeric. Pumpkin seeds on my salads are my go-to. I literally take so many, put them everywhere. Very anti-inflammatory properties, so I just love it. And it also gives an extra bit of a crunch, especially if you don't have like sweet potato and stuff in your salads. I love cashews, a big handful of cashews. Um, to, for more healthy fats into my salads. Again, more of a crunch. Um, the dressing, I've told you I've already added a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Add in apple cider vinegar with cinnamon and turmeric. Again, they have properties of anti-inflammation. A bit of balsamic vinegar on it as well, um, just to have that taste. Just a little drizzle. Any seeds, I have a thing for them. a milkshake and ice cream and the only place that I remembered was all the way downtown that does a peanut butter vegan vanilla so yummy good morning everyone oh I haven't spoken a lot this morning so my voice is a bit raspy so yesterday it was a really fun day it was stressful quite hectic running around here to there classes shoot classes shoot you know that kind of thing and i did actually have another class booked in but actually thankfully it did get cancelled i wasn't going to be able to have time for lunch and as much as i was on the shoot and i know i could have ordered food I'm not ordering any food and I knew that I had avocado at home, I had some tuna and I was like this is a perfect opportunity for me to run back home and eat some food so that my stomach isn't going to hurt and it helped. Back to more period talk. I wanted to talk about period pants. A few months ago when I was obviously asking about you know what products that I want to use, tampons anymore and try come away from using pads, used the cup and this is just a cup from the organic shop brand is called mass me unfortunately with this period i've been in so much pain down there and as i mentioned before getting a tampon in kind of hurts so getting this in it's very painful and obviously trying to pull it out i got scared i had so much anxiety about this period so i didn't use it hi i'm vlogging i'm talking about period pain a few months ago when I was asking everybody like what do you use when you're on your periods is everyone just using tampons still as more people turn to the cup are you on pads I got quite a few messages from girls saying that they use period pants I was really skeptical if I'm honest because I was like what the hell are period pants and I got sent a few links and it's all about like you know free bleeding and this initiative I don't know if I'm gonna like it because you know when you wear a pad and you kind of feel that you're Ripping. and it's just uncomfortable you feel like it's not soaking in it's too much sometimes it overflows I was wearing pa pads and um, I was getting thrush if it wasn't that heavy and the pad wasn't doing anything for me I just have cotton pants on like pants that I don't really mind they get a bit dirty if you know what I mean I found this brand called Modi Body and I just wanted to know more about the pants and I messaged the owner, her name is Natalie and she's absolutely lovely and I wanted to just try out these pants for this period because I was like I don't want thrush anymore, don't want to use the pads, I can't use my cup at the moment, I need another alternative. So obviously it's plastic free July as well. I'm going to tell you this, they're a life changer. I cannot believe like that I didn't know about this before. Why? Why? So I got the size medium and I also got like light to moderate flow because I'm not super heavy and it has this pad, super soft, they're really lovely material and so they just fit about right. Normally in my underwear I get a size small but for some reason I felt that I wanted a medium because you know you don't want too tight of your underwear whilst you're on your period. They are a little bit snug but not like uncomfortably snug, they're like a good fit and I'm happy with them. And before I used them I was told just to wash them and I washed them so that the pad would activate its soaking material. Wearing pads and you feel that dribble, with these you don't feel it at all. So you can wear them all day like a normal pair of underwear and I guess if you have a heavier flow maybe you might need to change them but for me I could wear it all day, didn't feel any like wetness down there. I bought two pairs so that I could wash one one day and then wear it the next day you know. They have lots of different styles, even more like sexy styles but I just wanted the basic um, bikini one. 
So really recommend it. If you don't want to wear pads, if you don't want to wear your cup, it's maybe not that heavy or something like that. I really recommend getting these, even sleeping in them. They're just so comfortable and soft. I'm very happy with my period pants. Because I'm early for class yet again. <coughs> this morning I was feeling like I was having a really good day well I'm not sleeping at the moment I don't know what it is I think maybe I'm stressed I'm still waking up in a fair bit of pain throughout the night I'm spraying you know my pillows every night with my lavender spray and normally that helps us a lot and I also have lavender oil be doing the trick at the moment so I'm not too sure what's going on I had a relaxed morning did my morning routine I wasn't in so much pain one day I'm fine and the next day I'm not, it's really strange. So I've got, you know, pulsating pain, what I thought was my ovary, but I think it's my bowels. And it's radiating down my right leg. So if I curl a bit too much over, I feel it. An update for today, I don't have my period. So I had my period for six days and I didn't want to say it this morning when I vlogged because as I mentioned before, it tends to come after I've done my exercise, after I've had my morning coffee, after I've had my morning poop, it's not there. So it's gone, which means I can steam tonight. But it was really weird yesterday because it was red. Normally it goes black, but hell no, it was red. I had a bit of a twinge of a cystitis today. Also woke up with a migraine. That was another reason I woke up with a migraine. I'm trying to say this every morning, like this is a long road, but you are doing well. Like you're pushing through it even though I'm in pain all the time. Good evening everyone. I've had my shower, I've taken off all my makeup, I've put a nice lavender oil over my face that will try to help me sleep and then as I've finished my period I can steam tonight which I'm very excited about and I'm getting all prepared and I've got peaceful meditative music coming on. I'm really excited about um, steaming again because it was helping me just calm down and you know, it helps me with my cramps a hell of a lot. And I've missed it. I'm back into my routine of doing it every other night. I was increasing the herbs three three consecutive days and then three days off. I was to try to get my period to come and I really believe that it helped because no way did I think I would get my period this quickly after coming off of contraception. It was to me that I think my body needed me to have periods again after being on contraceptive pills since I was 16. So it was 10 years I've been on contraception and my body now is like, come on, just stop with the pills and just let me be natural, which I love. Looking forward to this journey of becoming more natural and holistic, you know, getting the period back in as much as it was painful, as much as I was grumpy, as much as I felt terrible. I am happy that I've got my period and I'm happy that my body is going back to normal. Let's get steaming, I've got my herbs out. So met up with Liberty again today. Because she's going away, she was so kind to drop off some more herbs so at least I don't run out in case I don't see her for a while. Thank you, Liberty, you are a legend. And girls, I really recommend getting in contact with her. If you are hesitant and a bit confused about what steaming is, she explains everything. I've got a period after the doctors told me that I wouldn't get it because I've had weird periods all my life. I got a period just 42 days was my first cycle. Yes, it's not great, but it's better than it, not me not having a period for six months, which they thought I was gonna have. I really believe that because of taking care of my body um, in this approach with natural foods, supplements, and steaming. So I've got two of these tea bag things full of herbs and I've added some extra just because I want a little bit more. So steaming is done. Now I'm going to go to bed because I feel so calm and relaxed. My hair, what is this baby hair doing like? Hello. I've now got into a routine of taking a cup of tea to bed with me. Sorry about the mess of it, I really need to go through it. So I've got Puka Cleanse, but I'm not in the mood for that. Womankind, raspberry leaf, green tea with jasmine infusion. Uh, chamomile is a good one. However, this one is my favorite at the moment. It's kind of sweet because it has vanilla in it. It's got chamomile in it, so it's great before going to bed. Cranberry, orange, marigold, and rose. I feel like it helps also with my cramps and when I'm feeling just a bit mm. I 
definitely recommend this tea if you're a little tea girl like me and you just like a cup of tea before going to bed to sit in bed with it with my lavender oil all over my face my lavender spray all over my pillows and then a giant mug of womankind tea Hi guys, good morning. I know this vlog I was supposed to be telling you a little bit more about what foods I'm eating, what I'm doing for my gut. A couple meals that are literally my go-tos and I literally change the protein up between tuna and smoked salmon. But as I've shown you before, I've been making smoothies in basically every single one of my vlogs, which seems to be like a bit of a theme going on. I've already done classes, I've already had you know, my celery juice, my probiotics, my water and my morning coffee with coconut oil. And guys, I'm telling you, the coconut oil has helped my stomach so much. I'm barely getting acidity during the day. First, I'm gonna fill up the cup with a bit of water. I use alkaline water from my Aqua Plus. I'm gonna put about that much. What I've noticed since really checking out and watching what I'm eating and putting into my body that my body has slightly changed a bit. So my mum saw me the other day and said that she thinks I've lost weight, that my skin looks better. I don't know what's going on here, but that spot is not welcome on my face. Making a gut health smoothie again. About half a frozen banana and half of this green banana. I don't like green bananas notice with smoothies and I don't know whether it happens to everyone but if I get a smoothie say if I go out got loads of ingredients in it like five different fruits it makes my stomach bloat so much so either one or two fruits which is mostly all the time my go-to is banana and blueberries those don't bloat me if you do struggle with bloating when you're drinking smoothies is to maybe cut down on the ingredients of fruits and more vegetables into it if you like green smoothies so it gives a bit of sweet and also has a lot of antioxidants a handful of spinach added kefir into my diet I'm really seeing also that that's helping with my gut Off one day half the next so because it's gut health and anti-inflammation today I'm gonna put a little bit of turmeric in cacao powder for that lovely toffee taste and also it helps balance your hormones flaxseed meal for my omega-3s cinnamon my babe hemp seeds for protein chia seeds from Tropica I'm gonna add the superfoods, Brazil nut in for selenium and anti-inflammatory. Apple cider vinegar shot today because gross. Adding it into my smoothies. So just a teaspoon, myprotein.ae vegan powder and this flavor today is turmeric. Free coconut milk. Let's blend this baby up. But I forgot to put the coconut oil into the smoothies. Yummy. Cheers. I've gone out, I've gone to the shops to get myself some lunch, and I might have gone a little bit overboard. Loving Earth chocolate. I've heard about it through a few like bloggers, and I like my chocolate, but I haven't found a good vegan chocolate that tastes nice. I'm a little bit obsessed with the salted caramel one. Barely any ingredients, like I was looking up on the old chocolate that I used to get, vegan chocolate, there was so much crap in it. Got the salted caramel blend, my favorite so far. I went with hazelnut, I do like hazelnut stuff then the normal milk one and then i wanted to try salted caramel swayze it's got like dark chocolate truffle layer little naughty and i'm so happy that they are now in dubai because i've now got my chocolate obsession under control if you're trying to find products with not a lot of ingredients in it and you know like every single ingredient they state all on the back thank you so much guys for watching this week's vlog i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i gave you some tips and tricks that might help you with balancing your hormones or your gut health so if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button click the like button and please leave me a comment i can't wait to see you guys next week and have a lovely weekend mm -hmm.